Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm happy to be here today. We're getting ready to do our June's Pause and Ponder. I will have to warn you, I tried this video once before and I wrote in the wrong color pen. I um, was stuttering a lot, so <laughs> I pray I can get through this one better. <laughs> so I'm doing it over again. But I have a little better handle on what I was reading and writing now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can get the best out of this. Today's pause and ponder is about Matthew 16, 26, which is a very famous verse. Um, I'll just read it real quick in the NIV. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? I mean, that's been in just every other movie. <laughs> And every other talk thing um, yeah what good is it will it be to gain the world if you have to give up your soul it, not it's not good <laughs> it's never good so we're gonna get into that um, I've already filled out my um, hear my prayers portion of this on my own my own Bible study time and um, I'm gonna get the right pen this time because I wrote it in blue <laughs> and I always write Jesus's actual words um, the red letter versions in red um, just so it will stand out better and make sure I am you know honoring the Lord that's kind of one of my ways of doing that so today is June 19th it's Juneteenth day it's a very important day in history um, and it's a day I have decided to pray for our national healing of history um, we have many scars and many devastating parts of our history that still hurt and damage people to today. And I just pray for healing and understanding and my part on what I need to do and how I can be a blessing to someone else um, and what God wants me to do. And so I wanted to make sure Juneteenth was put in my planner and that I pray for it. Um, it's also a state holiday here in Virginia. There's been a lot going on here um, about making this a state holiday. We had um, Governor Ralph Northam and Pharrell Williams had got together and had several conversations and then they came together and met in Richmond and um, publicly spoke about it and it was a beautiful, several people spoke. They were just two. There was um, other people that spoke as well. and the love of God and Christ mentioned by, I believe one of the pastors, and forgive me, I didn't think to write their names or down or anything like that, but just absolutely got chills listening to what they were saying and how we need to move forward from history and unite together in love and compassion and walk it out with Christ. And I absolutely love that idea. I love bringing God into this and uniting all our communities together. So I wanted to make sure that was put in here. I did write it in black pen so it would stand out even more because everything else is in blue and red. Um, and to honor Black Lives Matter is what I did. Um, I did not do, I don't film every day, so I didn't do a whole week, but I did write during the week of Black Lives Matter. Um, a lot of the planner community people wrote in black and white. So I did do that. I have had been going through a lot of prayer and a lot of um, soul searching. You know, our pastor in my church has really been doing a lot of soul searching himself and many of our elders and many of the church members and we are just wanting to understand and love and be open dialogued with everyone. We want to know what the community needs the most. We want to know how we can help, who we can be. What is it we're not seeing that we need to see? Um, I ask God all the time, you know, pull those weeds from my eyes and my heart and my soul that I'm not understanding. I don't want to, to do anything that would be considered untrue to Christ in loving my brothers and sister in Christ and, um, and to love all people. So. Anyways, that's kind of my little <laughs> stint right there. Got off topic, but now we're going into the pause and ponder. And Matthew 16, 26. I mean, this is a very powerful verse to think about because the temptations of the world are very strong. If it feels good, it looks good, it smells good, it tastes good, 
we so desperately want to enjoy those pleasures. But a lot of times we feel those pleasures are going to last and they never do. And then all we're doing is giving up our soul to gain the whole world, to gain fame, to gain celebrity, to gain wealth, to gain popularity, whatever it is to gain. And, but yet we end up giving up our souls because that's not the original plan God has for us. Um, and when we don't turn to God, I think, you know, we try to gain the whole world and the whole world around us just seems to constantly perish and those pleasures do not last and we keep going hungry and and there's nothing we can give in exchange to get our soul back if we're giving it to the world if we're giving it to satan um if we're giving it to everything else whether we believe satan's taken it or not um yeah why would we want to gain the whole world and for, forfeit our souls. I don't understand. So that's what I want to write here. Whoops. I'm going to start with the read here. I've got the NIV. This is the one I like the most, surprisingly. Um, I, but I will read the ESV and then I'll read the Amplified and I'll come back and write the NIV. Um, like I said, what would it be for someone to gain the whole world? Yeah, for forfeit their soul. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. <laughs> or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? And the reason I like this verse over the others, it says someone and anyone, not him or he, or it doesn't use a pronoun like that. So the ESV says, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? And I know probably the context of this man means any human mankind. But I don't know. I like hearing it the other way. <laughs> so that's why I like the NIV. And then the Amplify only added a little bit. So uh, for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, wealth, fame, and success, but for forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? So... Back to the NIV. The NIV is the one I'm going to write. Um, I, yeah, it's a. It, it's hard to see that we do when we live in the world and we have to walk in the world. Sometimes, or before we became Christians, um, yeah, we were trying to gain the whole world. We were hungry for something. Our spiritual hunger was. We were starved to death, and we were just grasped at anything that gave pleasure, and then that was always temporary and it perished and it was this vicious cycle um, and there's nothing you can give in exchange for your soul um, but if you go to today's um, hear my prayers John 6 35 I am the bread of life the one who comes to me will never be hungry and the one who believes in me as Savior will never be thirsty for that one will be sustained spiritually. That's, I think, when we're trying to gain the whole world, we're missing this. And that spiritual hunger, that spiritual thirst cannot be satisfied without a Savior, without Christ. And so for that, this is what answers that. It's no good for someone to gain the world and lose their soul. And there is nothing to give in exchange for their soul because their spirit, their spiritual soul sustain, is sustained by Christ. Satan's not going to sustain it. He doesn't have the power or authority. Christ has authority. Christ has power. Christ is defeating Satan. So, yeah, this is just... Um, there's just no no reason to gain the world no reason to gain the fame success I mean it's not sinful it's not bad it's not wrong when it's walked with God but to give up your soul in exchange for it no you don't want to do that because eternity is a very long time and our 70 80 90 years here on earth is just a millisecond compared to eternity so for me, it's not worth it. That's for sure. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. As you can see, I had written it in blue and I erased it. I love erasable pens, but you can kind of see. So it's gonna be a little messy. But because I'm gonna write on top of it. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So I wrote down um, Matthew 16, 26, and then I went ahead and wrote in my thoughts. And then my thoughts were, there is no good in forfeiting your soul just to gain the world, success, wealth, and fame. When spiritually you are starving and thirsty and everything worldly will perish and die, you will have nothing and turn and on, I should say only have, I'll just kind of do this, only have eternity without God um, yeah and that's a scary thought that's a polite way of saying you're going to the other place and I don't want to say what that other place is so <laughs> um, yeah if you're not walking with Christ then you can't go to heaven I mean there's only one way to heaven and that's through Christ so it's important to keep the focus on that because your eternity really uh, depends on that it depends on your belief in him and you know being with him and being a disciple and yes it's going to be costly to be a disciple but it's also going to be joyous and amazing and beautiful and he's prepares you for each and every step of being a disciple when it's not so hard and then when it is really hard so he will provide and protect he will uh, equip and bring knowledge and information and he will teach everything you need to know so I trust it and I trust him and I rather not gain the world because the world will perish and it will end and there will be nothing left and then where would I go I will not forfeit my soul to Satan just to gain all of that that and I'm too shy to do that <laughs> I don't like getting in front of crowds um, and talking in front of I can talk surprisingly I can talk here on YouTube but um, getting in front of a crowd of people, public speaking is not my thing, and my throat goes tight, and I get hoarse, and then melt my speech, and it's just, it's horrible. I remember crying as a child trying to give book reports in school. <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, this is my pause and ponder. Uh, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, I hope you have an amazing and blessed day. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye.